Hi, uh, in this video we are going to be talking about uh, the distinction between gender equity and gender equality in public policy. A uh, lot of times people tend to equate gender equity and gender equality. It's often used interchangeably, but it actually is not. The, they mean different things and so uh, this video is going to help you to understand and to clarify where the differences uh, come in. in the, and we are going to talk about gender equi equality first and then I will talk about gender equity. Uh, gender equality uh, denotes that uh, w both men and women have the same opportunities, uh, so including participation in public sphere. In uh, a lot of places, especially here in Africa, we find that sometimes women tend to be given less opportunities compared to men, especially when it comes to participating in public sphere. And so the issue of gender equality is trying to make sure that whether you're a man or a woman, you get an opportunity to participate. And it's also based on a concept that all human beings are free to develop their personal abilities. It shouldn't be based on whether you're a man or a woman. Um, you sh everybody should have an, uh, the opportunity to, um, to develop your personal, uh, your personal abilities. And it also means, it, it uh, relates to the ability to make choices. To make choices, whether you're a man or a woman, without limitation without uh, stereotypes. These limitations that are usually set about by stereotypes, for example, some people think men are brave and women are not, uh, men are, are strong, women are weak, and so on the basis of that, they don't give them, uh, they don't allow them to do some things, they don't give them opportunities to choose in some areas, in some jobs, for example, they will say because you are a woman, you will not be able to, you don't really have an opportunity to make a choice. And then it should be, you should not be limited by the roles that you play, the gender roles, the prejudices that are there in society on whether a man or a woman should do this or the other. For example, if I'm a woman, in uh, certain cultures, I may not have a choice to build houses, for example, because it is... Uh, the, some of the gender role, women are not allowed to, for example, climb, uh, go on top of a, of a building or on top of a house. And so that can limit my choice on what kinds of jobs that I'd be able to do in terms of uh, building. Now, gender equality is a, is a concept that seeks to make sure that different behaviors, aspirations and needs of men and women are equally considered, valued, and favored. Uh, it shouldn't be that because I'm a woman, I'm given more favor, or because I'm a man, I'm given more favor. But we are given equal favor, uh, irrespective of my sex or your sex. Now, gender equality, some people have tended to mis uh, misunderstand it. And some people think that when we talk of gender equality, we're trying to say that men and women are, are the same or have become the same and that there are no differences between men and women. But this is not the case because there are differences. We are men and women of different sexes and there are differences. They are not the same and uh, we were created differently. But uh, there are there are some uh, things, things like rights, things like responsibilities and opportunities, which should be provided irrespective of whether you're a man or woman. And so that's what gender equality is about. It is about providing similar opportunities, similar rights, similar responsibilities. But it is not trying to make women men or trying to make men women. And so, uh, just in summary, we, gender equality is seeking for equal opportunities for women and men and it is also trying to ensure that there is equality before uh, and under the law 
between men and women. In some countries, you find that uh, women are discriminated against by the law. But uh, gender equality is trying to bring about uh, equality that it does not, it should not matter whether you're a man or a woman, you should be treated the same under the law. And then to be given equal dignity between men and women, <coughs> excuse me, your self-worth should not depend on whether you are a man or a woman. Uh, the society should not value you on, on uh, depending on your sex, but on who you are and just what you're able to offer to society. Now, I will move on to gender equity um, to show the, uh, the difference now. We've been talking about gender equality. Now, gender equity uh, is a, it's, it's a concept that recognizes that, yes, there is a differences, much as we are seeking to bring about equality, but in societies there are differences that have existed historically uh, as a result of culture, tradition, that means that people are treated differently. And when it comes to gender equity, uh, to gender, in many societies, uh, women are treated differently from men, and especially less, and given less opportunities. And so because of that, women tend to be of less social status. They do not get um, to participate in the public sphere, in leadership roles. They're not given that. And so gender equity seeks to bring about equal treatment for as much as it may be equal treatment to make sure that um, the people that were disadvantaged at a certain point, if it is men or women, are given a little bit of different, uh, different treatment to make sure that they get to the same level as the other ones that were given uh, better opportunities. And so everybody is considered equivalent in terms of rights, benefits, obligations, and opportunities. It is not necessarily the same as equality because in some cases, if you provide exactly the same thing for men and women, because of the historical uh, differences that have made one of the sexes a lower, uh, of lower status, those people who have been of lower status will not get to the same level as the other ones. And so that means that you have to maybe give them some additional help to bring about equity. And so it's, it has uh, been, uh, it, uh, it's embedded in uh, a liberal feminist idea of removing discrimination in opportunities for women. And so that they are, um, enables them to achieve equal status to women, to, to men, sorry. Um, because in many societies, there is no, uh, the status of men and, of, and that of women is different. And so, in uh, many places, they try to tackle the problem of, of this uh, lack of equal opportunities through um, policies and legislation which seek to tackle the problem through measures to increase women's participation, especially in public life, equitable participation in education, the labor market, health services, and politics. In uh, a lot of countries, you will find that there isn't equitable participation, even in education, even in politics. And so in some countries, for example, if you go to Uganda, you'll find that in politics, women uh, uh, given special treatment, uh, a certain percentage of uh, places is reserved for, for women. And so that because uh, traditionally and historically women were not involved in politics, and so the, there is a reserving of some positions of a certain percentage so that to allow the same numbers of men and women. But even in spite of that, uh, equity has not been uh, uh, ex is experienced yet. And so what are the policy implications? As uh, students of public policy, you may be asking yourself, what are the policy implications? It means that uh, all equity approach, uh, an equity approach implies that all development policies and interventions need to be scrutinized for their impact on gender relations. 
there's been historical differences between the genders, between men and women. And that means that if you're going to put in place a policy or an intervention, you need to look at it. How is it, is it going to improve the status of men and then make them higher than women? Or is it going to improve the status of women such that they're able to move to the same level as men? The other implication is that all uh, policies and programs uh, need to take into account men and women's different realities and interests. We may live in the same location, but it doesn't mean that we have the same experiences. The men will have different experiences, the men will have different realities from women and their interests. And so it means that you have to take into account different realities of men and women. It also implies that we need to rethink the existing legislation on employment as well as development programs to take into account women's reproductive work and their concentration in unprotected casual work in informal and home-based enterprises. As you make legislation on employment, as you think about labor, as you think about putting in place projects to help and develop, uh, to help develop a, a, a community, you need to take into account these uh, issues, the women's reproductive work that keeps them in their homes, that makes them busy, such that they, uh, and they have to juggle so many things. They have to do the work at home, they have to think of work, at, of going to work, and, they, and in that, and because of that, they have so many, the, the roles that they have mean that you have to bear that in mind as you make uh, employment policies. I uh, will stop there and I hope that that has helped you to understand, to get a little bit of understanding of the differences that are there between gender equity and gender equality. But I would like you to watch a video. Uh, th this is the link uh, of this video, which, which also goes on to talk about the differences in gender, ah, sorry, the differences between gender equity and gender equality. Thank you for listening to me.